How's it going guys? Angus here from Makey Smooth and in today's video we're talking about the lattice tortured test cube thing again. But we're not talking about my results with it, we're talking about everything you guys did as a community when I put this idea out. So let's get started. Ah, welcome back guys. So as I said, I came up with this idea in a stream maybe a month or so ago, and I ended up putting it together into two files. One was this sort of lattice cube here with the 4x4 grid, and then this one was the revolved, more complicated one, which I then put out to my patrons for free, and I put a file up for five bucks, which was met with positive and negative criticisms. I do take it on board, but basically, I mean, i got to pay my rent somehow. So anyway, the main thing I want to talk about in this video is what happened next, what you guys did, how you printed it, what your results were. And what was really interesting and unexpected with this file is just the range of results that we saw. Because everyone has a different printer with different settings they like. And this file is difficult to print and really did push some machines to the limit. So what we saw was actually quite interesting because some expensive machines were struggling, but some cheaper machines we're actually pulling it off really well. So I chose some of my favorites in this video and I'd like to show them to you. Also, by the way, don't feel bad if you're left out. There was literally loads more than I expected and I couldn't keep track of them all. So yeah, um, thank you very much for trying it out, but sorry if I missed you. So I'd like to start with Luke's one here from, from uh, Luke's one of my Patreon supporters. And he printed this on the Cubicon style, which I reviewed not too long ago. There's no stringing, which is awesome. And it's got a little dag off the edge because the Cubicon wipes its nose and that often gets stuck to the print. Next are the prints that Shivel Wolf did. So Shivel has a low cost Delta kit that he's put together and he's fine tuned it really nicely. So this is the first test on the, with the standard uh, lattice cube. And it's actually pretty decent. You know, it's a nice gray. And then he went on to do the full size revolved one. And this is a purple PLA and it looks great. There's no stringing issues. He said it took about 14 hours to print, which is about, about right for one about that size, we're looking about 14 hours, a bit longer for one like this. And that's a really decent result. But of course there was failures, just like I had my own share of failures, some of you did as well. And this is one of my favorites, so this is L NLTMW's one on Twitter. So he posted this up, basically apparently got a partial nozzle clog and it made a bird's nest. But then he went back to reprint it and got this result. So this is a far superior result and it's pretty incredible because it's on a Sun Hotkey Prusa i3 which is one of the cheapest i3 kits you can buy and he's obviously got that dialed in, the settings are nailed, no stringing, no obvious cooling issues and this is what I'm saying, some people got amazing results off extremely low cost printers which is really refreshing to see. Bryce is also another Patreon supporter and he's another 3D printing enthusiast here in Australia. This was his result of the Revolve torture test and it looks like, um, in my opinion, some nuclear waste, bit of bit of stringing issues, but I think he did dial it down after this print. I quite like this one in terms of its artistic look, not so much because it's a good cooling result, but it looks pretty good, so well done with that one, Bryce. But something I did find really cool and interesting is some people decided to make their own versions based off inspiration from this file. Because I did make the file paid, and I don't apologize for that, so instead of buying the file, some people decided to model their own versions. Which is actually awesome, because I'm fully supportive of people creating things, I'm here to empower creativity, and I feel I did that by creating this file in the first place. So let's have a look at some of those versions. So this is the lattice cube done by AJ 3D Printing on Thingiverse. And the really cool thing about this one is he designed it in Tinkercad, which is nuts because Tinkercad is a really simple geometric based modeler where you add and subtract shapes. And I didn't even think this sort of design was possible in Tinkercad, but he's done it, which is really cool. And you can find that one on Thingiverse. Then Miss Sandy had a go at it, so she designed her version in Rhino and printed it out. It's a really nice result as well. It's got the sharp edges versus the rounded edges on the columns, which I quite like the look of. It's more angular and geometric, maybe something like a diamond structure or something like that. Very good result printed on the Up Plus 2, which I used to use all the time. They're really, they're a bit out of date now, but they're still really good bulletproof machines. So it's really good to see they're still going. And then Laser Lord had a crack doing both versions, so a standard, um, Lattice cube and then the revolve version as well. And I think he also did like a crazy three time revolve version, which would be even more insane to print. And you can find that one on Thingiverse. And this is Spike's version. So he designed this ages ago, like when I was just after I did the stream talking about this idea. So it's really cool to see. And I think he used the Prusa i3 Mark II as well. 
But this one takes the cake. So this is a customizable lattice torture cube torture test designed by APFI on Thingiverse. So I don't know how to do any sort of open SCAD scripting or anything like that. And I don't know how to use the customizer engine on Thingiverse, but clearly he does and he had a crack at it. So now you can make your own customizable version using his script. So you can change the, the height, you can change if it's revolved, how high it is from the base. All these sort of things are customizable and I think that's super cool and I'm totally behind that because although I can 3D model quite well, I can't do that kind of thing. So it's super cool seeing you guys in the community taking an idea and pushing it forwards like this. That's why I'm here. I love to empower creativity and this is awesome. And of course, I have to mention Joel Telling's massive lattice cube that he did on his GMAX printer. That thing is insane. You have to go watch his video if you haven't seen it. Took him like 80 hours of printing and it is massive. Like to the point where it's not really a torture test anymore because it's scaled up so much, but it just shows like the, <laughs> the geometric beauty of this design, like massive. And he's gonna take it around to schools to show kids what 3D printing is capable of, which is really, really cool. And also just because he, he wants both titles, he also printed the smallest lattice cube on his Form 2, which is an SLA 3D printer, resin based and it's absolutely tiny. I mean, I printed this little one on the, the Prusa i3 Mark II, but his one is like <laughs> that big. It's so cool. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. And as I said, there is way more prints and probably a lot more designs out there, but I just, I can't cover them all in one video. But I wanna stop and say thank you to all of you who did support me buying the file, but also thank you to all of you who took this idea and pushed it further because 3D printing is all about learning and creativity and look, the things that you guys are doing now is super cool. You can only learn through pushing ideas to the limit, which is what I'm going to continue doing in future videos. So you can definitely look out for an even more insane torture design based around this kind of concept. It might have moving parts. It might be dual extrusion. I'm not sure, but you can look forward to that as well. And just before I finish up this video, I want to push a question to you guys. How did I print this? <laughs> So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse and look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later. Bye.